So tonight for dinner, we are having carne asada bowls. Um, I'm having mine in a bowl. The family had theirs on tortillas. Um, I made this in the crock pot. It turned out fantastic. So this is what I did. So I have a bowl here with some carne piccata meat that I got at Walmart. I think they have it all the time. And then also my bowl, I'm gonna add in some spices. So I'm adding in two tablespoons of chili powder, a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and then some pepper. And then I'm going to add in a teaspoon of avocado oil to there as well. So then you just wanna take your hands and you wanna mix it all up. This is the, really the best way to get the spices and the oil all incorporated in the meat. So then to that, I'm adding in one medium, medium onion that I sliced up and then two chopped up jalapenos. This is a spicy dish. So if you want to be a little bit less spicy, then maybe cut it down to one jalapeno because it was, it was pretty spicy. And now you're gonna take a skillet that you have heated up and had a little bit of oil in there. So I have some avocado oil in there and you're just going to cook this in batches. Now you don't wanna cook it till the meat's all the way cooked through. You're just browning everything. You're just getting a good sear on the meat. So I took two batches to get mine done um, with the package that I had. And then you're gonna go ahead and put that into your crock pot. I'm using my um, slow, my pressure cooker that's also a slow cooker so i'm adding to that a half of a cup of beef stock and i'm just going to give that a good stir then i'm going to set it for three hours on a high and this is what it looks like when it's all done you guys this was so good i really cannot wait to have it again so like i said the family had theirs with corn tortillas but i have some cheese here they also had some beans um, i just topped mine with some pico de gallo some guacamole and sour cream and then also some tomatoes cilantro some avocado and some onion and here is what my bowl looks like i will have the original recipe linked down below and on dinner this night, we had the stuffed meatballs from Keto Ginger's channel. I will have her video linked down below. It turned out fantastic. I just had a little bit of lettuce on the side that I had a little bit of Caesar dressing. It was like not the creamy Caesar dressing, but the like kind of oil and vinegar one. And these turned out so good. They are really good and really filling. I only could eat, I think I put four meatballs on my plate, but I only could eat three of them. And this is what they look like in the center with that cheese all stuffed in there. Really good recipe, really super easy. Definitely not low on the fat. And on dinner this night, I made some roasted chicken thighs and a side of broccoli with some cheese on there. So I just took my thighs, put them up on a rack, and then I just brushed them with a little bit of avocado oil. And then I just put some spices on there. I used this combination of this Montreal chicken seasoning, and then I also had some like garlic and pepper seasoning that I mixed in there. And I just kind of rubbed it all over the top, put them in the oven at 425 degrees for about 45 minutes. And this is how they turned out they were super super good and nice and juicy on this night i had a bunless burger with some of the bacon jam on top that i made in my meal prep video that posted last um last monday really super good so i just have a burger with some colby jack cheese some tomatoes some guacamole and some of that bacon jam and i just wrapped it in a romaine and lettuce leaf super good and filling and then finally on this last night, I made um, a fat dough pizza. I made this one with the barbecue sauce instead of regular pizza sauce. I have on there some Canadian bacon, some salami, some jalapenos, and then some extra cheese. So that concludes another week of keto dinners. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check the description box for links to recipes, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.